Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Banking was conceived in iniquity and born in sin. Bankers own the earth. Take it away from them, but leave them the power to create money and control credit, and with a flick of a pen, they will create enough to buy it back. Josiah Stamp Sometimes things seem so complicated that most simply avoid any effort to understand the problems facing them. Very little of anything is too complicated or too complex for any thinking individual to understand, so breaking things down to a level that is more easily understandable is often necessary for clarity. These efforts can be helped along by those with knowledge about important issues, who take the time to explain them in such a manner that little expertise is necessary to figure out the basis of the matter at hand. A great impediment to this dilemma is the fact that the state has over many decades attempted, and most successfully, to dumb down the population at large by taking over the schooling of each generation almost from birth until full adulthood and beyond, thereby harming the intellect of large numbers of society to such an extent as to effectively negate meaningful dialogue. The result of this manufactured and manipulated outcome has been the plotted creation of a blind, ignorant and indifferent population, with voluminous propaganda being used as a tool of deception. This has led to mass slavery, even though the crowd for the most part still believes due to extreme gullibility and brainwashing that they are somehow free. This solidifies the statement made by von Goethe that none are so enslaved as those who falsely believe they are free. This country is the epitome of this reality, but few recognize the existence and scope of the extreme uncertainty confronting us, and the dire consequences of the mass inaction of the herd in the face of the staggering challenges ahead. Our plight, at least in the economic and financial sense, has been recently explained by David Rogers Webb in his documentary, The Great Taking. This is very well done so far as explaining much of what has happened, how it happened, and the players involved on Wall Street, in government and by so-called lawmakers, political regulators, corporate heads, and the central bankers, whose ability to create unlimited sums of currency has plunged this country into economic hell. A lot of what he is saying in this production is spot on and does get very technical concerning the structuring of assets so as to place ownership of nearly everything intangible on earth in the hands of the few at the top of the banking cabal. Where he completely fails is in his very confused ideas concerning the solutions to this takeover plot. On one hand, he nails the problems, but on the other, he destroys all his efforts due to his gross ignorance and misunderstanding of government and the power structures bent on controlling everything. It is astounding to me that Webb understands so much about the corruption, dishonesty, and intricate criminal workings of those who control the money, but fails miserably in his assessment of how to go about fixing these problems. This is not uncommon, as most everyone seeks solutions from outside themselves and inside the very failed system that has always been the problem. This is of course backward, but by accepting the system and attempting to change and reform it using that same system, negates any risk or responsibility of the individual and places all efforts on trusting others to be honest and noble for the benefit of the <laughs> idea of the greater good. Let's just get better people in government, Let's tell government not to seek power or expand. Let's just educate the ruling class, because they really do not want this, but only inherited this ownership layer of power. They did not design this, they did not put it into motion, they have allowed the juggernaut to continue. They are not particularly capable people. All we have to do, according to Webb, is push the awareness of the insanity of wanting to control everything to the top levels of all the muscle, politicians, agency heads, corporate heads, CIA, military brass, etc., who enforce the criminal behavior of the real rulers so that they will see the error of their ways because they did not know anything about this plot. 
So, all we have to do is reach people at high levels, in order to expect them to save us. With Webb's thinking, we do not need to get rid of this heinous system. All we need to do, is repair it. We do not need a privately owned central bank, of course not, we need to have a central bank run like a public utility, or in other words, the government should run the central bank, and return all profits to the public government, and for the support of that same government. This is what I would refer to as a socialistic, communistic, nationalistic, and fascist utopian monetary plan, based on pure fantasy. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. According to Webb, we have to have government. We have to have someone to operate society. Anarchy and chaos, opposites, we can't have that. His notion is that everything has to be done legally, which only means by the forced and enforced rules of the state. All we have to do is to make government smaller, limited, and beneficial to humanity. Ah, so simple. Enough of this poppycock, love and respect of the evil state, its laws, and the expectation that by informing the ruling class that it is not being good, that they will understand their complicity in evil, and voluntarily reverse everything they have done perpetually throughout history, and only act as benevolent masters and leaders, ministers of peace for humanity, and lowly saints of man. All this nonsense means is that a full reliance on educating the near top level of rule, so that they will speak out against what is happening. Those high-level politicians, billionaires, corporate heads, and banking magnates, and then the system will repair itself for the betterment of mankind. All assets on earth are on the chopping block, as all assets are coming under the control of the ruling master class. The electronic takeover of all monetary, credit and debt systems, total control the internet, and the all-consuming growth of artificial intelligence, are going ahead full steam, and once in place universally, once all monetary transactions are digital, once CBDCs and other central bank monetary units, Fed coins, etc., are in place, and when currencies are cleared and controlled from a global central source or sources, the total loss of control by individuals, will be the result. All property will be subject to confiscation and management by the state, including the very lives of the sheep. The bankers own the earth, and all politicians, and will never give up their power to create money out of thin air, and without limit. Even if government was to somehow take over the monetary system and control the central bank, a joke to be sure, it would never rectify this gross corruption, or act in favor of the people. The entire system is the problem, so, in order for any escape from this insanity, in order to ever regain any aspect of real freedom, this entire system, all of it, must be abolished. Nothing of value can ever come from seeking redress from the same government that is the oppressor of humanity. No government or ruling class controlling government will ever limit its own power in favor of individual sovereignty, for that would automatically negate any need of government to rule. No government or rule should exist, as it is completely immoral for any man to rule another by force. The natural state of man, is to be free, and this is the responsibility of each and every individual. Each and every one of you. Between the government which does evil, and the people who accept it, there is a certain shameful solidarity. Victor Hugo. Perfect. 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 Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable, and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.